Hey guys, Brady here, and I just saw Ghost in the Shell. So, Ghost in the Shell stars Scarlett Johansson, Michael Pitt, and a whole bunch of Japanese actors. Um, this movie is based off an anime. Now, I don't watch anime. I went in the, into this movie with an open mind. Like, wow, this looks like a pretty fun sci-fi action movie. And, um, yes. Uh, so, I love myself a good Android movie. I love movies like Artificial Intelligence and Ex Machina. So, I was pretty pumped to see this movie. Uh, although, last time, um, Saul Joanne played an advanced being, it wasn't too good. And that movie's called Lucy. And Lucy, I hate it. I did not like Lucy at all. Um, it's a pretty cool concept, except they kind of stole the idea from the movie Limitless, which is somewhere over there on my shelf. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, goes into the shelf. So, based pretty much such place in the future, um, they pretty much put like a human brain inside the bodies of, um, androids. And now they, now these androids look lifelike, they look like actual human beings. Um, but yeah. Now I thought the mo I thought the movie uh, had great visual effects and great special effects. Everything about everything technical about the movie, the special effects and all that other shit, that was that that was the saving grace of the movie. Um, the the fighting scenes were great. They were shot well. They didn't have like shaky cam and all the other shit. It was it was like very good, clean, wa wide shots of people punching each other. It wasn't like cut, 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 cut like um. Taken 3 or uh, the most recent uh, Resident Evil movie. Um, so, yeah, you gotta praise the movie for that. It had uh, great cinematography. Uh, the world that they set up was pretty cool. Like, I love the futuristic uh, city. I think it was like Tokyo or whatever. And they had like all those holograms all over the city. That was pretty cool to see. Other than that, this movie is a sleeper. Like, I doze off a few times during this movie. I saw this with some of my friends, because it was my friend's birthday yesterday, and he's a, he's like a huge anime buff, and he's like, oh, we gotta see this for my birthday, so I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll, I'll see it. It has Scarlett Johansson, and you can almost never go wrong with Scarlett Johansson unless it's Lucy, or North, or Home Alone 3, or Eight-Legged Freaks. Other than those movies, you can never go, go wrong with Scarlett Johansson. Um, so, yeah, I, I was pretty pumped for this movie, and it just wasn't good. Um... Now, I'm the kind of person that never goes to the bathroom during a movie. Like, I hate missing things during the movie. This movie was one of those exceptions. I had to go to the bathroom badly. Like, I really had to pee. And I was like, fuck it. There's probably, like, what, five minutes of this movie left? I'm not holding in for an extra five minutes. I'm going to the fucking restroom. and uh, I'm just going. And, um, so, yeah. I haven't gone to a bathroom during a movie since Transcendence, which came out in April 2014. So, yes, I don't go to the bathroom often. And usually I go to a bathroom when I know a movie, when I, when I know I'm not liking a movie. I try to stay as much as I, as much as I can. I try to uh, not miss anything, but this movie just was just boring. Like, I went to the bathroom like right after the big action climactic scene and they had like this very slow building moment. I was like, alright, this movie's gonna be this has this is gonna be this is a slow moment, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I should have gone two or three slow moments ago so I so I didn't have to miss the ending, but whatever, fuck it. Um I'm gonna give Ghost in a Shell one point five stars out of five. Definitely probably the worst movie I've seen this year. Um and don't be like, oh, you're not an anime fan, so you didn't get it. Uh, the movie is supposed to pen to a broader audience. That's what a movie is. Um, Edge of Tomorrow was based off of manga. I loved Edge of Tomorrow. This movie just wasn't good.